so here's here's another pumpkin idea this one I have given big teeth in which I have taken the skin off to make them look more real and uh, how I do that is with a tiny paring knife and I score like I'll, I'll draw the smile and then I will take my little knife and score just an eighth of an inch deep into the skin because then what I'm going to do is scrape just the orange flesh off and what that scoring does is give the knife a stopping place That's a real smart. simple stopping place. Um, this is the only case in which I would use a kitchen utensil uh, knife, I should say. And not so much for little kids. No. But then to give it definition, these teeth definition, is when I come back with the scraping tool. And look how easy that is. See, I think that's genius. And then I can give it our little rounded bit of an edge because our teeth just aren't perfectly square. Do another tooth. Meet my stopping point. Use the scraper. And so on. Sometimes you'll make a terrible mistake and you, oh, I cut the tooth off. Oh no, <laughs> now what am I gonna do? Well, that's when your toothpicks come in very handy. For the tooth? <laughs> a toothpick <laughs> for the tooth. <laughs> so it's like, gosh, I want that tooth in there. What am I gonna do? And there you go. It's not perfect, but I could make it perfect. <laughs> so toothpicks come in great when you accidentally cut your eye out or a part falls off and uh, you are able to fix it with a toothpick. Good tips tonight. Okay, next, Pupils, do we want to put a bean in there? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm pausing. So now I'm going to make a pupil in this eye with a scarlet runner bean. Jana grows these out here on the farm and they're very beautiful. And uh, I'm just going to scoop out a spot for this in this pupil using one of my clay tools. I want to back that. make a spot we have to go a little bit deep in here it's kind of like dental tools you don't want to make the hole the exact size of the bean because you want to press it in there so that it stays. Otherwise it will just slip out. Now we have a bit of a pupil. Might as well finish off these teeth. Always be very careful with your knives. I typically only cut away from my body. In this case, I'm cutting towards my body, but I have made this stop with the knife earlier. So that's a good thing, a safety measure. 
Okay, we got another hole started for this pupil. And uh, again, you can use corn, you can use a bean, you can use a drill bit and drill all the way through so that light comes out of the pupil instead. That's kind of a nice feature. That one's a little too small. Okay. So there's an example of scraping, of using other beans. Um, these eyebrows were made with the tiny pumpkin tool because it's a more delicate area. And this will allow you to put an actual candle in if you want. The other thing about this pumpkin is it was also a rotting one. So I cut out the back where the rotted hole was and you could have a puck light put in there. So, and that's a pretty, a pretty easy one. I know the teeth look complicated, but once you know about scoring the mouth and that you've purchased ahead your clay tools, it goes pretty fast. And that's your typical Jack-O-Lantern. <laughs>